Hi everyone, it's Anne Crafty Kimchi. Welcome back to my channel. I am excited to come back for the second and final installment of our Winter Wonderland YouTube Hop. And I want to thank all of the YouTubers in our Hop. Their projects just really killed it in week one. And I am so sad that this has to come to an end. But I also want to thank all of the new subbies and all of the kind comments left on my video. I'm just engulfed with all of the love and I appreciate all of you and for my uh, giveaway I will be giving a $25 gift card to Amazon and I will leave all of that information down below don't forget to comment like and subscribe to all of the youtubers in our hop and you don't want to miss it so for my second and final video I wanted to do a home project i think in quarantine uh, i've just really appreciated putting some of that craft into my home i've really never done a lot of projects for my home and i just kind of love seeing things that i make living in my home so for this project i made a winter wonderland wreath and i love how simple I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit it was just a little zoomed in and I have a process video of me um, putting this together I basically took a Dollar Tree floral um, what is it called foam piece and I took Dollar Tree um, Dollar Tree yarn and this is those loop D yarns that you can find at the craft stores but I thought it was such a beautiful piece and again so perfect with the winter wonderland theme again nothing too Christmassy or holiday but just that beautiful white pureness of winter and um, I hope you loved this piece and following my process and I will now start my process of how I put this together. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Again, thanks for following along and here you go. Here I'm showing the yarn I use, that is the Loop D yarn. I have two Dollar Tree yarns. I do not end up using the Scrubby yarn. I only use the Just Cotton one. Uh, I am taking apart the Loop D yarn here, but please do not do this if you plan on recreating this. It, gets all over the place and harder to wrap around the floral foam. This is one from the Dollar Tree that I purchased and it's perfect. Here I am starting to wrap the Just Cotton yarn around the floral foam and I will be speeding up this process to move this along. So I'm wrapping the floral foam with this white Dollar Tree yarn and I go over it several times. I wanted the green to be completely covered by yarn and in certain areas I go over two to three times and I just kind of um, stack it right next to each other. Um, I just wanted it to be a tight fit around the floral wreath uh, just to fill in any gaps that the green might peek out from. I've completed the wrapping process and now I am starting the base with the loop de yarn. I'm just putting on some hot glue and as you can see this big bundle of loop de yarn has <laughs> was such a mess. I did have to um, wrap some rubber band around it just to help wrap the, um, the big bundle around my floral wreath and I'm just trying to make a little base where I can have the Christmas trees and decorations live on top of. So I will be speeding up this process. So what you can't see is I've already put a rubber band around this big bundle. It, it is a super soft uh, loop de yarn and I really love the cream color. I wanted a little bit of a more white fit but um, honestly anything that was soft and white and this was a perfect fit for this wreath. I'm just wrapping it without rhyme or reason just around the base just to make sure that I have enough space on the bottom 
to ensure all of my embellishments can live properly. Um, I kind of go off camera a little bit, but you kind of get the idea of what I am trying to accomplish. Here I finished the base and wrapping all of the loop de yarn around my little floral wreath. Again, I am just going to add a little bit of hot glue to make sure that this doesn't come apart. And I did go around with the loop de yarn several times. I wanted the base to be fluffy and full and a, a great starting point for where I'd be adding the embellishments. I, I just love how full it is and just making sure that everything is tight and not loose. Here I'm getting the embellishments ready to start adding onto the base of my loop de yarn. And I just love how it looks like a snowy scene. I'm just putting dabs of hot glue and putting on these flocked mini trees to the base of my floral wreath. And I do add different trees and I just think that it just completes the look. I'm just, I do end up adding about four trees to the bottom and I did add different trees. I don't know, I thought that it gave it a little bit of different colors I did there are two different brands so the green of the tree does look a little bit different and I love how this came together now that all the trees are set I am adding these little ornaments I just thought that I wanted to give a little bit extra on the sides I have uh, two colors here a silver and a gold um, I just wanted to keep them a little bit of non-traditional colors and I do stack them on the side of the Christmas trees and I think that they just gave a little dimension to the, the wreath and kind of like the snowy scene on the bottom. Now I'm adding these small silver and gold presents. I wanted to add them right next to the, uh, the ornaments because I thought the presents just kind of finished that look of the holidays and I just love how this came out. Now I'm taking a resin snowflake that I had put together using white casting resin and a mold that I picked up from Allie and I am adding this to the top of my wreath. I wanted a dangly element to kind of give it that snowy frosty feel hanging from the top. And to complete it, I just add a little loop on top so I can hang this on my wall and I will be inserting a little small picture of the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this process video and thanks for watching.